Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's quick tips for Reaper, I'm going to show you one of the most commonly asked questions that I get on my YouTube channel, and that is how do I color my media items inside Reaper? What I'm talking about is you can see that we've got the each of these uh, tracks is color coded. I've got blue for guitars, red for drums, green for bass and so on. But my media items are actually also color coded. Now a lot of people ask how you do this and it's very quick and easy. So all I'm going to do is press Ctrl or Shift P to bring up all my preferences. I'm going to go to the appearance section and down to peaks and waveforms. And if we take a look about two thirds of the way down, you can see I've got custom colors. And I've got the options to tint media item waveform peaks two and tint media item backgrounds. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at this. If I uncheck these three options and apply it, this is what you'll probably find your particular instance of Reaper looks like. So you can see everything is just gray. Just by checking these, so the track color, the item color and the take color, hitting apply, that will color code these the same as each of the actual tracks colors. If you apply a custom color to this, it'll apply to the actual waveform as well. One of the options you've got on there is the take color and what that will do, if I just get rid of this a second and I press Ctrl and L to bring up some additional takes, you can see what that will do if we take a look at this particular guitar channel. You can see I've got different takes and each one of those is a different color. So that's a great way when you're working with Reaper and you're taking multiple passes at a particular passage within your track and you have multiple takes on that to have different color coding applied to each one of those takes so you can separate them out easily. So let's just go back to that, Control or uh, Command P. And we go down to the appearance, peaks and waveforms, and we just specify that the tint media item background for track colors, the item color, and the take color are all checked. Hit the Apply button. Once you've done that, then you're going to find that when you color code any of your tracks, they'll pick up the color coding that's applied to that. Or if you've got multiple takes, they'll have slightly different colors for each of the takes, which just makes working with takes so much easier. I hope you found this quick tip useful. If you have, please hit the like button below. Hit the subscribe button to follow all the videos on this channel. If you've got any comments, please place them below. Or you've got suggestions for any future videos, again, please pop those in the comment section below. I read everything that comes up on there and try to comment and feedback on everything we see. Until next time, take care.